Good morning, everybody. It's a good day. Hope yours is a good day as well. I expect today to be the official kickoff to spring here on our farm. Stick around and I'll show you what I mean. Good morning, Lucille. Oh, you're excited to get out this morning, aren't you? Good girl, sit, 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 good girl. Well, she knows the routine. <clears throat> First, I get food for the animals. There's enough in there for the rest of today. for the pigs. It's hard to carry stuff with uh, just one hand. You ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, pigs. Hey, pigs. What are we doing this morning? so good. No, I gave them this barrel with these nipple wires, but I put them in the barrel too low. So I think at some point, I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I'm going to put a put together just a two by four miniature pallet or something to set that up on to get it up off the ground some more so they can get to those nipple waters. I think they're using it, but just not much. Anyways, see you guys soon. I'm coming. Good morning, ladies. Look at Mr. T in the window. How we doing? Good morning. Like I need to add a little bit of calcium sometime soon. The girls really went through that one this time. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so we made it down to the barn, and if you've been following us, you know why we're down at the barn. We got our new additions yesterday. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I have food. How are we doing? 
meet Henry and Molly and our last edition feeder pig here you go guys now this one this little feeder here he is the same age as the four that we already have and he's actually part of the same litter we decided to go ahead and add him since as I said the person that I bought these from has decided to go ahead and focus centrally on sheep which I think is a good idea not to get into too many different things so we decided to go ahead and take on the last remaining one that he had but he also needed to be castrated as well so we went ahead and took care of that so we'll keep an eye on him. He's pretty fresh, and I'm sure he's still really good and sore, but I'm happy to see him up around this morning. How are we doing? Now these guys are not quite as used to people as the others are. How are we doing? Although Henry here, he's let me get close. But Molly, not so much. And definitely uh, a little feeder. He does not want anything to do with me right now. To be fair, for good reason. Hey, Henry. Good news is this all looks good. And I saw that they uh, bed down in here last night, which I'm happy about. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you all alone. I'll come back and check on you again later. And my hope is that Henry and Molly are actually going to play an integral part of our farm. You know, we do sell some eggs off the farm here, but we don't make a ton of money off of that, which I think most people that sell eggs probably don't. Um, we are breaking even, and we're, from what I can gather, we're making a little bit better than some others around, but I think that's just due to our management style. However, piglets sell better, and even though these guys are unregistered, I can sell the piglets as feeder pigs, uh, surprisingly a lot of people actually buy them as pets so that's also an opportunity um, but I've got a lot of family that has also been interested so I've, I've already got I think an initial interested in, we'll call it a market um, and then we're gonna see how the rest goes but I'm excited to see how it goes for good or bad it's new opportunity for us and a good learning experience so I'm excited to go down that road and see how things go so we are past our last expect a frost state in our zone um hoping that it, we don't have any more frost i'm looking at the 10 day and our lowest temp in any of the next 10 days is only 43 degrees which is exciting so we're going to take a chance and start trying to plant the garden today lord willing i'm going to go ahead and get some of the plants set out been doing this for a couple of days actually setting the plants outside so that they can get some natural sunlight which some of the ones in those pots aren't I don't think they have a chance but I'm giving them one last opportunity to show me there's some life in there before I pull them out and move on this outside. I know these guys would love some sunlight. But, so these are a lot of the tomato plants that I think I planted a little too soon or seeded a little too soon. And some of it's because I just don't have a great setup inside the garage here to to start these. But I think they're going to be all right. We're going to try and get these especially the tomatoes in the ground because as i said i think i started just a hair early with these guys but between those and the marigolds i think we're ready it makes it actually feel like spring all right so we're back outside we're getting ready to start measuring our rows for the garden we'll probably do a little bit of trial and error with that because first time planting it here can you say hello, Noah? Hello, Noah. 
Hello, Noah. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got uh, I got two of the kids out. I got uh, Noah and our little girl Ada. Just getting a little bit of sunlight today. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot, at least not yet, and it's good and sunny. So we're gonna try and take advantage of that. Got one row of Romas done. So it's getting a little bit too warm out here. Got some all the family out here hanging out with us. Right. Little itty bitty plants. So and we uh, we got our garden staked off for our rows. So we made good progress, but it's getting a little bit too hot. So we're gonna go take a break and come back out this evening and do some more. But we probably won't finish today because there's a lot to do. All right, we're back. It's in the afternoon. It's finally cooled off a little bit. And we got a nice breeze going. So I got at least one row finished earlier. And I'm, my goal is at this point just to get the tomatoes planted. And so I've got probably two and a half to three rows worth of tomatoes. We've got Roma tomatoes. We've got a, um, they're called, what are they called? Cherryland tomatoes. Uh, they're essentially small cherry tomatoes. And then we've got um, beefsteak tomatoes. So I'm gonna try to get all of that in the ground. I'm gonna wait on the peppers and give them a little bit longer in the tray, I think. Um, but if we can get the tomatoes planted and then maybe begin to mulch some of it, that would be fantastic. So that's gonna be the goal the rest of the afternoon. So I got in about a half a row of the beefsteak tomatoes and I finished out all the Roma tomatoes and the cherry tomatoes. And there are some left in the tray and I'm going to actually transplant those into other pots and see if any of them make it. And if they do, then I'll probably replace any of the ones in here that fail uh, with the ones that do work out. Same thing with the beefsteak tomatoes. I'm going to transplant the ones that are left in the tray into other pots and then I'll replace any of these that don't make it. And if they all make it, then I may give those to family or sell them or something, but I don't know. Either way, I, my original plan was to try to like grow these out and sell them, but I don't think I had a good enough grow light set up in my garage and it wasn't quite warm enough. So they didn't do as well as I had hoped, but not that big a deal. We'll try again next time. Now it's getting late and I'm actually starting to run out of daylight. So I've got to actually get on with my evening chores, take care of the animals, make sure they all got plenty of water because it was a little bit warm today. And that'll be that. So we'll go check on the pigs next. And probably Lucille, she needs some exercise. Hey pigs, how we doing? How we doing guys? 
I brought you guys a little bit more food. Are you just wanting attention? I think you are. Now the little one there, once he gets healed up and, uh, you know, we've gotten him through the quarantine, he'll go in probably with the rest of them. And we'll see if, uh, if we can get her to put on a little bit of weight. Now the pigs and the garden are two long-term projects for me here. You know, I've already talked about the pigs being a potential income stream, an obvious, you know, food for our family. And the garden is, well, it's primarily food for the family and maybe it's an income stream that's not something i've necessarily thought about but i don't know we'll we're always open to things that could happen but with the garden what i mean by it being a long-term project is that the area where i'm planting is mostly clay it was that when i tilled it um it's a lot of the mulch and stuff that i put in it early on in the fall that's been breaking down that's actually seemed to help i found a little bit of you know starting to uh, break down but I think that's going to be a long, long-term project. So, you know, those are just two of the things that we're making progress on right now, and it's exciting. Speaking of long-term projects, here walks one day. I need to spend more time getting her integrated with the animals. I've been failing to do that. But we have been frequently walking and getting used to the property. My main goal, more than anything at all, is to make sure she stays contained. Everything after that's secondary to me. All right, guys and gal. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's evening. I'll leave you be. Actually, I need to probably add a little bit of water to your bowl, and then I'll leave you be. Anyways, that's just about it for me, and it's getting almost too dark. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, you'll continue to follow our story, and we'll see you again soon. Have a good day. Thanks.